Hey guys, so today we are doing an old-fashioned what's in my handbag. These used to be so popular when I first started on YouTube 11 years ago and I don't see anybody do them anymore but I just thought it would be fun. But before we begin with that, I did want to mention a couple other off-topic things. Um, I had talked to you recently about the new e.l.f. Sheer Slick Lipsticks and I said that I bought the one in Grapefruit. I am wearing it today so just wanted to show you what it looks like on in case you didn't see those pictures that I posted on my social media. Not sure that this is the best color to go with the eye look that I did today but I could probably um, mute this with a tissue and it would probably look a little bit better. So, oh yeah, that's much better. It's just a tinted lip balm, so it's not supposed to have a lot of pigment, but it does. <laughs> or maybe it's just the color that I chose, I don't know. The other thing I wanted to mention is when I did my last shopmissay.com order, I said that I was going to, instead of doing a haul video, I was going to just show you the products here and there in different videos as I use them. And I think this is the second to the last thing that I needed to show you. And it is the Amuse Cosmetics. Uh, Modern Blues palette and on the website it's listed as palette number three. I already had two of these in different color schemes and so I knew I I liked them. Oops, there goes the applicator. Um, so that's the color scheme. So I used the light gray as a highlight shade and then I put this shimmery darker gray on my lids. I put this bright blue in the inner corners and underneath the lower lash line. I used this blue in the crease and the outer portion of the lids. And then this black, I, I didn't end up using it because, um, you know, four, four shades, this is a lot to do for a look. so. I didn't use the black. Um, so yeah, I really like these palettes. And the other two that I have, one is like a, a green palette and the other one is like, a, I think it's a pink and purple. So yeah, a green, the first one is a green and neutral. Yeah. And the second one is the pink and purple. So I figured I would grab the gray and blue. I like how they have like two or sometimes even three colors going on within the palette so that it isn't just blue, for example. All right, let's get into it. What's in my new handbag? First of all, the handbag um, is about, I've had it for about two weeks, and so I cut the tags off. And I threw them away and I had no intentions of making a what's in my handbag video. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the brand. Don't shoot me. Um, however, I do know where I bought it and I do know how much I paid for it. So if you like this, um, you could probably find it just by looking for it in the store. I bought it at TJ Maxx. It was $19.99. When I saw it, I was, I just, uh, you know, was going to peruse the handbag section. And when I saw it sitting there, I was like, oh my God, I love this. And then when I looked at the price tag and saw it was only $19.99, I was like, okay, sold. <laughs> so here's what it looks like. And I like the um, shape of it and I like the size of it. It's almost like, um, like a doctor's bag type shape but it's really small in person. It's not coming across on camera as being small, but it is really small in person. And then inside the bag was a shoulder strap. I like to leave the shoulder strap attached to it 
Sometimes I carry my bag like this. Sometimes I put it over my shoulder. And this is long enough to use as a crossbody bag. But I just never know how I'm going to be holding it. It just depends on the situation and whether or not I need my hands to be free in that moment or if it's um, a less secure area, then I hold on to it by the handles rather than just putting it on my shoulder or, you know, if it's not even really that secure if you're wearing it as a crossbody bag. I have a cousin who was um, walking along and somebody just came up behind her really quick. She had it as a crossbody bag. They grabbed the strap and just cut it with a knife and, you know, before she even knew what happened, they, it was gone. So just because it's as a crossbody, don't think that it's safe. It's actually safer to hold on to the handles. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know what made me think to mention that. But yeah, so let's see what's in this thing. But the the, the edges are like really secure where it um, hooks on for the strap. Okay, so let's look inside. Now, the good thing about having a small bag is it doesn't get crazy heavy. Because when I have a larger bag, it can get really really heavy because you know you bring more stuff so I can only fit the absolute basic essentials in here um, the opening when you unzip it it doesn't open that much so it's kind of hard to get stuff out of there which so far is the only thing that I don't like about it other than that I really like it okay so I'm just gonna take things out one at a time. When I first reach into the bag, the first thing that's on top is my sunglasses. And I just keep them in this. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that. I had to stop and get a drink of water. Um, I just keep them in this cloth case thing. And um, when I'm not filming videos, I have to wear prescription glasses. So my sunglasses are really ugly because they are the type of sunglasses that go over your prescription glasses. Um, my frames on my glasses that I have now are larger than what I used to wear. So these are the only glasses that I have found that will actually fit over my prescription glasses because the, the frames are a bit bigger. So. My sunglasses are the first thing that you would see if you unzipped this bag. And then the next thing I see is hand sanitizer. Now when I had my other bag, I used to attach this to the handle, but it's kind of unattractive. <laughs> um, it's practical to have it like hanging off one of these hook things on the side, but it just doesn't look very nice. So sometimes I hook it on the side for convenience if I need it to be handy. And uh, sometimes I leave it in the bag. It just depends. So yeah, hand sanitizer is essential, of course, especially now. Now the next thing that I see <laughs> are my keys. And my mother always says to me, um, why do your keys look like a janitor's keys? <laughs> Because I have, I have so many. <laughs> I even have to have one of these hook things because I, otherwise they won't all fit on there. So the reason why I it so much is because I have the key to my car, the key to my husband's car, and the key to my mom's car. Because at one time, my mother and my husband both locked themselves out of their cars. And I thought, well, if I carry their spare keys for them, that can never happen if they're with me, which, you know, there's a, there's a somewhat of a chance that that could be the case. So, um, yeah, as long as they're with me, they won't have to worry about getting locked out of their car. And plus, sometimes it's just convenient. Like my husband and I went somewhere last night 
and I got out to the car before he did so because I had the key to his car I was able to let myself in the car before he came out so I don't have to just stand there and wait <laughs> so you know it's it can be handy all right the next thing I see is this little um, makeup bag oh it says Zoeva on it I think this was part of a gift from a friend yeah yeah um, I use this to keep my cell phone in and the reason why I have to keep it in this case is because I am afraid that if I don't put it in a case that it's gonna scratch the glass so you like how I I actually found a matching pop socket that would go with the color of my phone I couldn't believe it I, I knew I wanted to get a pop socket but all the ones I looked at I was like oh these are gonna clash with my phone so anyways I I think I found that pop socket at Best Buy if you have the lilac iPhone you can find the matching pop socket at Best Buy okay and then next is this um, credit card style wallet and this is basically an overflow of cards that I don't use that much but I have to have them with me credit cards rewards cards um, and on the keys you saw some rewards cards too, the the little tiny ones that go on your keychain but yeah rewards cards credit cards um, like my car registration um, insurance cards you know all the different cards that you when you need them you need them but they're not really something that you use that often so I just keep them in here and then I have my regular wallet I've had this wallet for a long time it's it's real leather but it's very sleek and thin and that's why I like it it doesn't take up a lot of room in my bag and then in this wallet I just keep the cards that I use more frequently and some some cash and my driver's license and oh, well, the cards fell out that's not good put that back in there and then I have this change purse and people always comment about this I, I had bought this the same time I bought that wallet so I've had both these things for many many years and they haven't fallen apart yet but what I love about this change purse is all you have to do is squeeze it to open it you don't have to fuss with a clasp or anything so I love this this is so convenient but yeah I because I've had both of the wallet and the change purse for so many years I don't remember where I got it I want to say Target but it was so long ago that obviously they wouldn't have it anymore and then there are some like pockets in the side like for small things and in those I have my um, earbuds for my iPhone and I have a, a lens cleaning wipe actually I, I think I have multiple ones in there if you've never tried this brand they sell this at Walmart in the optical center these are the best lens cleaning wipes for if you wear um, prescription glasses or sunglasses or some kind of glasses those do a really good job and they're very affordable and then I have a hair tie in case I'm out somewhere and I want to put my hair back and then this I actually just bought this yesterday um, it's the cutest thing in the world it's a little tub of Vaseline cocoa butter formula now the reason why I have this in there is because this is all the stuff that I can fit in this bag I cannot fit even one more thing so I wanted to get this to use as um, a lip treatment product a hand lotion you can use it as a makeup room remover in a pinch like if you look up in the mirror and see that you know something smudged or messed up 
you can just take like a tissue and just um, this will remove any kind of makeup mistake or melting or whatever that's going on but this can be used for so many things you know you you reach down and you got a dry spot somewhere on your body you can just stick a little bit of this on it's really handy and so adorably cute because it's so tiny so that's what's in my handbag um yeah these these videos are fun because they kind of give you a little bit of insight into the person themselves by seeing what they carry on them but yeah I enjoy them but I never see anybody make these anymore but the reason why I'm putting all this stuff back is I want to show you once everything is in there how there is no room left at all like this is right up to the top I can just barely fit this stuff in here so I don't remember what brand it was but for 20 bucks or 19.99 it wasn't anything that you would have heard of like it's not a famous brand but I just really like the style and the last bag that I was using right before this one was blue and it was like um colonial blue I guess you would call that color and it did go with a lot of things even though it was blue but um, black I feel like is probably the most practical color for me in terms of what colors I have on most often but yeah the blue worked out okay too and the blue bag that I was using I think I bought that at Primark I'm pretty sure that was from Primark so that is my new handbag I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already if you want to and I will see you in the next one bye guys thanks so much for watching